everywhere we go in life, we interact with people. And as we interact with people, those interactions fill up our cup for the day, for the week, for whatever the time frame is, right? Depending on how long that cup stays without us emptying it out, okay? I want you to imagine that. So today, this is an example scenario, was in a coffee shop, and the coffee shop has a mobile app service where you can put in orders and come in and pick up your order. And someone completely, you know, entitled, and this really, really annoys me, she comes in and she's very irate because she put in an order on the mobile app and the mobile app indicated that her order was ready. She arrives, there's no order there. Okay, and she's just so upset. And she just keeps on dumping on this poor barista working behind the counter. Um, and finally the manager, you know, the manager steps in and says, well, ma'am, look, we're going to make your order for you. It's not a problem. We apologize. Um, we'll, we'll look into what happened with the app. Now, at the end of the day, number one, we have the luxury of living in a time when we can order a f- order anything we want from a phone without even having to talk to anyone. We could just punch in the information and show up. And sometimes the technology doesn't work. Doesn't mean that you should dump on people. That person did not insult you. She did not cause you a problem. So to the lady on that side of it, sis, go sit the hell down. That was ridiculous. Very, very entitled, very, very spoiled for you to actually think that your life was so put off because you had to wait a couple minutes for your coffee. You couldn't walk in, grab it and walk out. Honey, it is Sunday afternoon. And even if you had a pressing meeting, it is not a reason to dump on other people. Now, for everybody else out there, people who don't do this, the rest of us, right? Imagine that kind of an exchange happening in your world, right? Where someone is dumping on you. Um, They may be angry or disgruntled. And you don't know why they are doing that. They might have an addiction problem. They might have a mental health problem. They might have just had a really bad day. They might be in an abusive situation, but it does not excuse their behavior at all. Whatever the reason is, maybe they're just straight up spoil, which is what I think with this lady based on what I saw. So what I want to say to you is this is the reason why you have to empty your cup every so often. You have to filter out your cup. Because that exchange, I've seen this happen, whether it's that kind of an exchange where it's just like at a coffee shop, it's a business meeting, it's so many different scenarios, a relationship, a friendship, phone conversation. It never fails that it seems like we have a tendency to fixate on that negative. She was surrounded by a supportive team that works with her and the rest of the people, rest of the customers were very polite and very kind, had conversation with her. But I wonder, what is she going to focus on that day? And so I want to get um, advice from you guys out there. What are ways that you filter out these negative exchanges um, and realize that the majority of your day was a beautiful day? What do you do to filter that out? And so I want to see, um, I want to learn from you guys, like drop it in the comment below um, and I'll share in the comments some of the things that I do. Um, And there's no perfect way. I think that we still sometimes are like, oh, that was so horrible. That was ridiculous. That was stupid. Um, But what do we do to filter out those things so that our cup is full of the glowing light that it actually is on a daily basis? Peace.